I thought I'd start off this video with um, potential feeding of my GBB and uh, a shout out to Hyrax UZ. Um, he was asking me what I do with my enclosures and you know he wanted some ideas. Um, and this one seems to be working well for my GBB. Just uh, chopped up a couple of bits of cork bark. Um, yeah, not amazing stuff really. I mean, but. I was sort of struggling to think of anything really to tell him. But um, anyway, I'll show him my OVT as well in a bit. But that's in pre-malt, so you won't see it feed. But let's hopefully get this one eating. It's made a little house down there. So it quite likes its hide. Um, it's got loads of places it can hide, really. And it's webbed up. It's been here about two weeks. Um... It's had about three crickets uh, in that time. Let's see if it wants another one. And I have to catch this little cricket. Well, medium sized cricket. We've got it. Should get a. Here we go. Oi. There we go, there's uh, one cricket down and the leg is being left. Quite a feisty feed of my GBB. Right, so I'm going to show you my um, OBT next and I'll show you what I did with that, that one's enclosure as well. Right, so this is my OBT enclosure and basically just as I did with my GBB, chucked in cork bark and the the tarantula will do the rest really. But I put in a, a circular bit and I've turned it the other way around because I thought, well, why not um, for an OBT? Because I know they like sort of tunnels and and it, yeah, it went straight in there and it's gone into pre-melt, sealed itself in, it's made lots of webs and in the corner there it's done quite a bit of webbing. And yeah, I look forward to see what it does over the next couple of months. Hopefully see it soon. Right, uh, on to some more feeds, hopefully. This is my Polynibus muticus, uh, otherwise known as the King Baboon. Um, I'm trying to film this without getting glare on the side of the um, enclosure, but um, I just thought I'd do a quick update and hopefully get a feed. Um, on film but it's quite tricky at the moment because obviously as you can see it's down at the bottom here and this is a, a cricket keeper I got from the spider shop and I think they're quite good um, there's another chap Tom Moran he did a another sort of review of these um, but for about seven quid they're sort of you know for juvenile size um, and as you can see my king baboon is quite happy in here and it's got lots of space to grow into um, and it's deep enough, which is, I think, one of the things you want to give for a king of boon is quite a bit of substrate, so you see two or three inches. Now there's a, a weird kind of mound there, you can just make it out, and that's where its shaft is, and it's down there in the corner. Um, and it's smolted a week ago, so let's see if it wants a cricket, but... Um, I just thought I'd do a little bit of sort of an update on this one because you haven't seen it much. But as you can see, it's it's kind of tricky to to catch it on film and a, with the glare and it doesn't very really, very make good quality film. But um, what I've been doing a quick bit of husbandry here is um, when it sort of seals itself in, I have been feeding it um, pre-killed because sometimes I've noticed even though it's sealed in, it might still want a cricket. So. Um, I would constantly check, um, but yeah, so if in doubt, I mean, if you're worried about that collapsing, um, which I have been, is um, I, I wouldn't be too worried, really. I think they can dig themselves out, but obviously when they've molted, um, you don't want that collapsing on a freshly molted tarantula. So, yes, it is a bit of a worry. Um, and also, to the side, I've been dropping in little bits of water, so... Um, yeah, when they're in pre-malt, a few drops of water sort of every perhaps week 
Um, and then afterwards I've given it a bit of extra water. So I occasionally, you know, drop a little bit of water down the side, which I think helps. And this is fifth malt, so it hasn't put on much size. Um, and yeah, so hopefully you've enjoyed this little bit of a waffle about my King Baboon. But it's one of my favourite um, species and uh, I perhaps should have got more because they are slow going, uh, growing. And um, I'm very jealous of the Tarantula Chronicles' is, um, lovely King Baboon she got. Um, I hope it's a female. And I wish her all the best in uh, future care of this lovely, lovely um, species of Tarantula. Right, let's see if I can drop a cricket in and uh, get a close-up of it eating. Let's just sort of get rid of most of the glare. Um, you can just about make it out. Um, let's, I'm going to hold my hand here very steady and then I'm going to try and drop the cricket down the shaft without obviously collapsing um, the shaft and it's dark in here which makes it kind of tricky trying to catch the cricket so please bear with me but I haven't shown you this for quite a while my King Balloon so I thought I'd make the effort to um, try and get you a bit of a King, King Baboon action Right, I'm going to grab this cricket well. Um, yeah, I mean, with pre-killed, I was um, saying that you can obviously keep trying to put pre-killed down, uh, down its shaft and obviously don't want to collapse. Um, you've got to be very gentle. Um, but they will chuck out the pre-killed if they don't want it, which... Um, it's kind of handy because obviously you don't want a sort of decaying cricket down there when it's in pre -mop. Right, sorry, I'm having a few cricket issues. Ah. Oh, that's good. Right. So I can see the shaft. And I think... Did it get the cricket? So I've got a bit of glare here. Hmm. I can't make out if it got the cricket. I need to get a light on the top. So I can, as you can see, it's quite tricky. I know the cricket's still there, so hang on, I'm going to poke it down. Hmm. Very hard to make out what's going on here. But, um. Uh, don't know if it's had the cricket, but, uh. I have tried. <laughs> so, um, that's my King Baboon. Obviously, uh, as it grows a bit bigger, um, perhaps uh, you'll get better uh, videos. But at the moment, that's all I can do, really. So. Yeah, that's the end of uh, this video. Um, it's a bit of a, a strange one. But uh, I'll do a quick uh, tour while we're here. Um, because I have been trying to get sort of feeding vids, but most of them you've seen. So um, I've been just trying to get the ones that you haven't seen uh, so far. Um, but up here, I've got my Amazon Amazonica. That one's doing really well. I'd well compared to the other. The other one lost a pedipalp, so I've been very worried about the other one, which is called Marilyn, um, after Marilyn Moore, which I thought uh, I'd name one after her, if, of course, if it's a female. And this one is a P uh, Cams, and it's uh, pre -malt. This one's my P Regalis, which, again, I'm worried about because it had molted, uh, and I went in to have a look. So I kind of disturbed it, which, you know, you shouldn't really do. But it seems to be okay, but it hasn't come out in the last four days. So I'm hoping that will appear uh, soon, or I'll perhaps have a look uh, later on in the week just to see what's going on. But I think it had molted, because I saw the uh, the malt in there. That's my other PCAMs, which is in pre-malt. GBB is doing fine. Lots of webbing going on. And these are my bloaters, pretty much. 
Um, you might be able to make a... Oh no, it's got into hiding. My P. Erminia. Uh, Pamphibetius. Acanthoscura geniculatus. And most of these are all eating, except for the P. Erminia and the geniculata, which have both gone into pre-malt. Um, I'm guessing my... They're looking quite large as well. Well, the G. Um, Polka is probably pre-malt uh, coming up very soon. And my P. Erminia, she's um, not appeared for some time. Two or three weeks now, so her thing has crossed. She's, she's molted okay. My Anax is, is doing great. At the back here, we've got... Um, uh, this is uh, Marilyn, the second Amazonica, who I'm going to perhaps try and feed, but I'm feeding her pre-killed, or him, at the moment, because it could be uh, a mole that's eaten four times. So generally I find after the Amazonicas have had, say, four crickets, they tend to go into pre molt So I, I tend to sort of give them pre-killed. Pre uh, another P. Eremenia here, which is... Um, been pre malt it's kind of made a little web, a little cocoon. Hopefully that will uh, molt soon. And my OBT is actually there, you can make it out. And that could be a malt, hopefully. Um, or it could just be sitting there. But um, that, that hopefully will molt soon. And my Afonofelma is there, not eating, which is really frustrating actually, when uh, your tarantula doesn't eat because, you know, you're worried that they're sick or... Um, but um, I've heard, you know, they can they can fast, so I'm not overly worried about that. My Versicolor, probably going into pre -mold. And there you can just make out, is a P. Lugardi sling. Um, I will try and get that feeding soon, but I've only recently just got it so I wasn't quite sure whether it was going to go into pre molt so that's that's on pre killed at the moment and my B Smithy should molt soon and here we've got my T Lagunas who I'm going to be making a enclosure for soon um, that's why I haven't posted many feeding videos because I've been trying to get all the uh, designs ready for my new enclosure for that one um, but I'm probably going to let it molt once or maybe twice more, and then I'll you know go to town on a really nice enclosure for it. Uh, my Cyrenaganathus probably going to pre pre molt very soon. I think my OBT Tete, which is the black colour form, has just molted, so I might show you that in a couple of days. And then down the bottom, sorry, it's quite a few I know. Um, here, these two are H Max. And I think they're going to be going into pre malt quite soon. And there's a C. Shoditi or Shoditi in there, which again I've only just got, so I'm kind of haven't filmed it yet because I, I think it could be going into pre malt as well. Or well, I'm not quite sure what's going on with it, but uh, yeah, hopefully you'll you'll see that quite soon. But it's very small, and that's it. So yeah, bit of a big collection now while it's growing. Uh, 26 I think I have so yeah um, next videos really I'm going to try and get uh, some lovely enclosures done so hopefully that will be entertaining and it will be a full guide so I want to basically take my time a bit and make sure I make everything clear so bear with me on that and if there's any updates uh, I'll obviously post vids when I can so have a lovely week everyone Trop.